Venezuela's government is saying that it is in no hurry to restart production at the huge Amui oil refinery after last week's fatal explosion. Now, it's still unclear what caused the blast and whether some warning signs were in fact missed. Well, Stephen Gibbs filed this report from Venezuela. It was the worst accident Venezuela has seen in more than a century of oil production. At least 48 people killed, hundreds wounded, and damage costing countless millions of dollars. So, what went wrong? The refinery is run by Venezuela's oil giant, PDVSA. The company has had a turbulent decade. In 2002, its management supported a general strike against President Chavez. The following year, the president dismissed 20,000 disloyal workers and increased government control of the firm. The people he fired were represented 75% of the management, of the people with hard knowledge within PDVSA. So now probably we are paying uh, for that thing and that's the political reason. There are other complications. PDVSA, which directly funds Mr. Chavez's social welfare projects, is currently around $40 billion in debt. Last year, it admitted that, partly owing to a shortage of spare parts, only 20% of planned maintenance was achieved. It's too early to say whether this was simply a very unfortunate accident or it was avoidable. Many of the people living here believe that this was an accident that could have been prevented. They say that in the days leading up to the explosion, there were clear signs that something was going wrong. When we visited this community immediately after the accident, all the residents we spoke to reported that at least two days before the explosion, there was a powerful smell of some sort of gas. It irritated the nostrils and made us feel dizzy, said this man. A Colombian journalist put the residents' concerns to President Chavez. He suggested she was being unethical. It may take months for the truth of what really happened here to emerge, but everyone will be hoping that some lessons can be learnt. Stephen Gibbs, CCTV, Amoy, Venezuela.